What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. If you guys like cosmetics, you will love this video. Today I bring you guys a top 5, some of the rarest cosmetic hats in the game. It's not necessarily my top 5 favorite hats, because there's a lot of cool hats in the game. Now watch this thing until the end and tell me in the comments if you agree with my top 5. And if I forgot something, let me know. Now we start this top 5 with the Kiss This Mask. It's the only legendary hat in the game, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember when it came out, never saw a legendary hat before. It was only available in strong boxes, and I remember I bought a lot of strong boxes trying to get that. It ended up being a bit expensive, and the sad story is I only wore that thing for, I think, two days. I've never been a big fan. I don't think it's that cool, but the, the rarity, the, the only thing that makes it so cool is it's a legendary so if you want to wear all legendaries we still don't have legendary belts and we don't have legendary tombstone yet but if you want to try to have legendary everything on all your set of gear you need the kiss this mask legendary hat now it is still available in the game you will see it rotate in strong boxes and sometimes you can buy it with gold at pedro for something like 1500 gold which is still a bit expensive but hey, it's a legendary, right? At number four, the Golden Skull Epic Hat. Even though the Golden Skull is a reskin of the Evil Overlord hat, and there are other variations of the skulls in the game, the Golden Skull is the rarest one. It is not available in the shop. You cannot buy it with gold. You cannot get it in strong boxes. The only way you can get the Golden Skull is to buy the Emperor Bundle in the gold shop. You can only get it with real money. And it's the most expensive bundle in the game. It's $40 here in Canada. Now for $40, you get more than just a golden skull. Of course, you get a full set of armor. You get stickers, golden paint, and the Hexfire AR. Now, there are other cosmetics in the game that you can only buy with gold, but they didn't make my top five. You got the Bushido bundle. You get the Xenomorph bundle and the Spectre bundle. Now, at number three is the Shadowgun Legends cap. It was only available as a pre-registration reward. So the players that registered to the game before it came out received a bundle through the email and they received the Legends pistol, which is no longer obtainable. They received paint can, sticker, and a baseball cap. People were not so hyped with the cap, but still, it is one of the rarest cosmetics in the game. There's no way you can get it now. You cannot trade and you cannot get it somewhere else. That makes it one of the special hats in the game. Also, it was the only baseball cap in the game. They just made the first reskin of the baseball cap uh, on the Chinese New Year event. There was a panda hat, so it was the first uh, baseball cap that you can actually get through an event. So Shadowgun Legends cap in the long run could be one of the sought after items if trading comes available later. Now we're getting to the rare stuff. Number two is the hipster hat. You cannot get the hipster hat in shops. You cannot buy the hipster hat with money. You cannot get it in strong boxes. You're not going to find that thing. Your only chance at getting the hipster hat is to win the fashion icon of the week contest. To enter the fashion icon of the week contest, you have to send a picture of your character to Madfinger Games through the social media. It could be Facebook, Discord, Reddit, Twitter, or whatever. Uh, you send a picture and every week they will pick one winner and the winner will get the hipster hat and the hipster scarf as a gift. So I think it's super cool that they did something like that. It used to be just some Pedro tokens, but they were working on it last year. And I think it's a super cool idea that they reward the fashion icon winner with an exclusive cosmetic. You won't see that very often in the hub because there's not a lot of these, but with time there will be more and more and more winners. And that thing will be a bit more common. Now at number one is the War Child Daisy Epic Hat. It was a tough decision between number one and number two. But I took that one as number one because it's my favorite of the two. And probably there's more of these in the game than there are hipster hats. But War Child Daisy was only available for a couple days. It is a charity. How it works is Mad Figure Games gave the player a chance to support the charity. I think they had three days to go and buy a bundle in the game with real money. All the profits went to the charity. You can check the website warchild.org, but basically what you got is a bundle with some stickers and a hat, and that is the Warchild Daisy hat. 
Uh, the War Child Daisy hat is a military hat with some flower and stickers on it. It's pretty cool and it's super rare. And once again, there's no way you can buy this unless they come back every year with a cherry that you can buy. And if they ever do it again, will they bring back the same cosmetics? We don't know. So that's it for today's video. That was my top five rarest cosmetic hats in the game. Leave me a comment below. What is your favorite of the five? But also tell me what is your favorite hat in the whole game. Now hit the like if you enjoyed the video. I might come back later with more top fives. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.